Today's review is Handy Holder. This is supposed to be a universal portable electronics mount. Let's see how handy it really is. I wasn't originally going to do a review of Handy Holder because the last time I did a product like this was called GripGo, it was four or five years ago. I almost broke my phone when it fell off my windshield. But I decided I would go ahead and give Handy Holder the benefit of the doubt and review that one here. So to use it, whether you're using it in the vent or on the suction cup, you attach this to your phone and then it sticks to the mount. If you're asking why it doesn't just stick to the phone itself, it doesn't, it doesn't stick to the phone. There's a couple of different ways you can mount uh, your phone with handy holder. There's this suction cup. And there's also a vent mount right here which clips onto a vent. You're not supposed to use an active vent because it can make your phone overheat or freeze. They give you two different plates like this. And that white peels off to reveal an adhesive. What I don't like is that these are permanent. You can't move this to another device. Once you stick it on there, it's stuck. So I figure I'll take my 256 gig iPhone 7 Plus and I'll use this $13 mount to attach it to. What could possibly go wrong, right? See if this works. So now that one of the plates works, let's take it in the car and try it on the vent and try it on the dashboard and see how that goes. All right, I got my handy holder and I've got my phone. Let's see how well they work. Okay, well that sticks well. It looks like I'm gonna have to adjust the tension it's not holding the phone very well. This knob right here adjusts the tension, I think. All right, all right, that's, that's doing a pretty good job. Now we're supposed to peel off the plastic and use a suction cup on the dash. Kind of put it on the flat part of my dash here. I think that feels stable. I'm gonna try it now with my phone. All right, oh, see that's what I didn't want to happen. Just like the grip go, it fell off on the first attempt. I knew I shouldn't have trusted this. Maybe I should try a different location. Can't say I really trust that anymore, but there it is. Well, obviously in that, in that location, I can't even turn it because of the window. Oh, look at that. When I start trying to rotate it, it fell right off. Hmm. Smaller plate does work, but it leaves permanent residue on the back of your phone. The suction cup didn't mount on my dash very well. It did mount on my window, but even as I rotate the phone, gravity pulls the phone off of it. So, so far, handy holder is not looking so good to me. I'll try the vent mount, and maybe that will be handy holder's redemption. Let's try that out. All right, I wanted to take a break from the car and try to see how the handy holder works as a mount on a desk. This is a glass surface. It should have no problem with this. Let's see how it goes. Adjust it this way. Can rotate the phone the like that. That's pretty solid. Of course, this is a glass surface. I would expect it to be solid on a glass surface. The phone's pretty solid on there. As you rotate it, gravity tends to pull it downward, so eventually it might fall off if you don't readjust it. But as a table mount, it looks like it does a pretty good job. I'm gonna see how the handy holder looks in different places around the home. Let's check it out. How about this textured wall? Nope. Kitchen cabinet. That seems to, well, no it doesn't. Don't think I would trust my phone on that. Nope, I would not trust my phone on that. On this counter. Yeah, holds well in there. Bathroom mirror. Yeah, that holds pretty steady. 
That holds pretty good. You're also supposed to clean off the suction cup every time you move it to a new location, which I have been doing, and you have to let it dry out. So that kind of takes a little bit of time. But the suction cup does pick up dust pretty quickly, so you're gonna to wanna to clean it between each uh, location. Not sure if that's gonna hold or not. The car vibrations could make it fall off of there. Handy holder holding the phone with my map app up. All right, so in this configuration, the handy holder held up pretty well. If you're gonna use these kind of vents, you'll have no problem. But if you have these kind of vents right here, you might have a problem because I couldn't get it to stay in place. See, it's not gonna stay up. It's just gonna flop down like that. But I went on a pretty long uh, bumpy road and it didn't fall off being on the vent. What I do like about Handy Holder is that it works pretty well as a desk mount or on extremely smooth flat surfaces like glass. But what I don't like about it is that once you put the adhesive back in your device, you can't really use different devices with it. it. The suction cup does not work very well on textured surfaces at all. I found that it fell off my dash. I tried a couple times on my wall, my cabinets. I wouldn't trust my device with handy holder on anything but a glass-like surface. It seems like the vent works better than the suction cup, but you can't use that vent while your phone is on the handy holder. I'm gonna to continue to use handy holder and I'll give you an update in a couple months. At that point, my update might be how well it works or it could be me removing the sticky back off of my cell phone case. Either way, I'll update you in a couple months and let you know how it went. So that's what I've got on handy holder. What do you think about it? Would you trust your phone with a handy holder? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.